Hey, it's Laura here, and I hope you're like me and enjoying some of the beautiful summer weather. Summer is an amazing time to recalibrate your freelance business and decide what you want it to look like going forward in the fall. It tends to be one of the quieter times of the year when it's a great opportunity to reflect back on what you've already accomplished and what you hope to achieve in the coming months. So how on earth do you decide just how many freelance clients is enough? To me, it's not about the number of clients. It's about the volume of projects that you're working on and the type of research and work required. For example, not all clients are created equal. If I have one client who requires weekly phone calls with strategy meetings and a lot of thinking and preparation and communication goes into that, that might end up taking essentially two spots on my client roster because of all the extra work that I do for them. I try to keep many of my clients as similar as possible so that I always know what I'm working with. For many people, they can't tell how many freelance clients are too many until they go past that number a little bit. You might have even felt it yourself, being overbooked. Here are the signs that you're overbooked. You're working well past five or six o'clock at night and still feeling stressed out. You have things on your to-do list that are rolling over from today until tomorrow and then the next day and the list keeps growing longer. You're working weekends, nights, and even on vacation to try to get caught up. Or you're simply showing up to your desk every morning already exhausted and tired, dreading what you have to do. There's no specific number of right clients that's good for everyone. I've known freelancers who only have four clients and say, I can't learn any more guidelines, requirements, or brand specifics than four at a time. I've also known people who are adept at jumping between 20 different projects at a time and somehow keeping it all straight. The truth is that the answer is probably somewhere in the middle or that average for you, but you'll know it when you feel it. What I recommend doing to tell when you are getting too close to being overbooked is to keep track of the amount of time you anticipate using each week for a client. For your existing clients or those that are on retainer, you probably already know how much time each week or month you need for them. You can write this down on a piece of paper. I list all my clients and say like, this is how much I have carved out for each of them on a weekly basis. Or sometimes I have what I call bi-weekly clients. So I'll just take that number of what I'd spend for them bi-weekly and divide it over two so that it's as if I was doing it every single week. And that will help me see how many hours I already have booked. You should have a number goal in mind, perhaps to avoid being overbooked, of what you don't want to go past. So for me, that's 25 hours a week of client work. I don't wanna go beyond that. The work quality suffers. I feel overwhelmed and frustrated and I just kind of don't show up as excited as I otherwise might be. For you, that number could be different. You also might find, as it usually is the case, that you work for a client for a little bit and maybe your expectations change. Perhaps you thought you needed 10 hours a week for them, but it's really more like five that's your clue that you might be able to bring on an additional client or speak to this current client to see whether or not there's more they need you to do. The answer is gonna be different for every freelancer, but I found that this tracking an average hours expected per client allows me to plot it into my calendar ahead of time and know when I have the bandwidth to take on new clients this helps me avoid being overbooked. Now, if you start moving towards being overbooked, one of the easiest things you can do is think about who on your roster could be optimized. I recommend this step before firing a client because you don't just wanna let someone go if there's a possibility that you could make things faster. So I have certain clients that I only work on bi-weekly or once a month. I batch all of the work and essentially do it together for them. So they're not really in my weekly rotation. I don't often work five days a week, so sometimes I might put in that fifth day and make it specific to that client or carve out a day and a half or two days to work on their specific tasks. That helps me to know that I don't need to let go of the client because they're relatively easy to work with. My easy to work with clients are those that don't require a ton of communication or revisions, so your mileage may vary. Always keep in mind exactly around how much or within a range you'd like to be working. You don't want to let your work quality suffer, and you also want your clients to feel like they're being taken care of. But keeping track of this on a regular basis, rather than just winging it every week, and then one week going, oh my gosh, I have too much work, I can't get it all done, and missing deadlines, you'll be ahead of the curve and able to adapt more regularly in your freelance business.